Hello everyone, this is Christine Wallace and this is my new Magnolia Venus. Now, I already have a tutorial on Magnolia which I'm going to link up in the description. So this is just some commentary on what I think would be a good way to use this Venus. You can go with it or just go with some of it. So your petals are quite thick because magnolia petals are really thick so they give you a break. Don't be tempted to roll them too thin and make your wiring life easier. Thin your petals inwards and gather up your clay or sugar for the groove in the middle. And I'm taking an artistic license to it and making my petal neck a little bit thinner. The actual cutter actually fits the Vienna and is a repetition of natural petals, so you don't have to do that. Thread your wire number um, 26 through the middle. You know that bit where you gathered up all the clay? And here's the thing, you could really, really press your cutout in with your fingers or a ball tool at this point, or not so much, and just have a lovely shape of um, the petal without having too much of a definition, because when it comes to dusting, it would give you this really dramatic effect, and it's not necessarily everybody's cup of tea. You could just leave it not quite as defined, and. Um, have a nice watercolor, gentle, smooth down texture when you come to, to dusting it. Okay, and here, so the cutout here is really thick. So um, when I press, the, press down, it gives me this hood. So if I cut it out right at the right edge, it gives my uh, end result a beautiful, very uh, signature magnolia hooded look okay so that's another thing and when your clay petals are semi-dry you could reshape them a little bit give them more of a hood or more of a dip and more of a shape So here I'm using pan pastels, uh, but for sugar you could use sugar dust. And I pressed my petals in quite hard to get the maximum of the vena, so the whole texture is showing up and is quite grainy and dramatic. You don't have to press your petals in quite as much, so then you have the outline of uh, the petal, but not quite as much texture, so you could keep the blending quite gentle and give your color a sort of a watercolor effect. Either way, um, it's um, your flower. I hope you enjoy using my Venus. Do use a discount, and I hope you found this little demo useful.